Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog in this holy month of Ramadan and hope you all are doing well. By the grace of Almighty, we all are doing good. This video includes a recipe with prawns that was very flavorful to eat and I wish you all try this and let me know your feedback. I had already put a reel on this on my Instagram and if you're following me there, you must have already seen it by now. I have seen different and simple versions of this recipe but I gave it a try in my own way and I hope you too will love it. Heat some coconut oil and saute shallots and curry leaves. Here I chop the curry leaves into tiny pieces. Once the shallots has turned to a light brown shade, add in ginger paste, garlic paste and green chilli paste. 1 teaspoon each. Drizzle some water so that it doesn't burn. After the raw smell leaves, add quarter teaspoon turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon chili powder. After a minute of sauteing, add some more water and mix well. Add salt. Now keep adding warm water until you get it a smooth paste like texture. This is done and keep it aside to cool down. From 1 kilo of prawns, I separated 20 prawns for the snack and the rest will be used for preparing curry. Just cutting each into 2 or 3 pieces. So for the curry, in a cooking pot, heat some coconut oil and fry some curry leaves first. Then add shallots and some sliced onions. You don't have to slice the shallots or chop it, just add it as a whole. Let this saute for some time. This has cooled down. Now add the prawns. Make sure you don't remove the tail part so that it remains in place while frying. So that it becomes straight in the spring roll sheet, make a few slits as shown. Now this step can be done right after cleaning. But I felt that even if it's gently mixed with those slits, it might break. The only problem is that my hands got a bit messy.
Now to the sauteed onion, add 1 tablespoon ginger paste and 1 tablespoon garlic paste. Cook till the raw smell goes. Add two medium potatoes that are cubed. Mix well. After a minute of mixing, add two medium tomatoes that are chopped, some salt, and three or four slit green chilies. Mix all together really well. Now add half teaspoon turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoon coriander powder, half to three four teaspoon black pepper powder, and half teaspoon roasted fennel seeds powder. Mix everything well for around one or two minutes. Then add two cups hot water. Let this boil and cook till the potatoes are almost done. That's flour to make a paste to stick the ends of the spring rolls. In between, give a mix to the curry and check if the potatoes were done. It was still not done at all, had to wait for some more time. Place the spring roll sheet in a diamond way, fold it as shown and apply some flour paste. Now place one prawn on it. You may add a bit of the masala too if the prawns doesn't have much on them. Now fold it as shown. This is done. Meanwhile, over here, add the prawns and let this cook for around 4 or 5 minutes. Adding 1 tin coconut milk. Some salt and let this cook. The spring rolls are all done. Deep fry in hot oil on medium low flame. Fry till golden brown. Mm -hmm. 
I had some frozen homemade cutlets so fried that too along with the spring rolls. Only after I started all these preparations did my husband tell me that he had an official iftar party. So you might not see him during the time of breaking the fast. It was just three of us at that time. Dinner is always late at night. I prepared a traditional dish named muttappam and for that I had soaked pony rice in the morning. I have shown a recipe with this quite some time back with prawns again I guess. Grind the rice with very little water and for that you will need a strong mixer grinder. Add salt while grinding or later. Then add 3 eggs into this. If you don't want to add eggs, do add a cup of cooked rice. Mix well. Deep fry a ladle each at a time. You don't have to push it to come up, it will automatically come. Then after a minute, turn to the other side and cook for a few minutes. This is done now.
So that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Do try the recipes and I'll see you in my next vlog. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.